गट्टू चिंकी इन आईपीएल गट्टू एंड चिंकी लव प्लेइंग द मोस्ट ऑफ द टू Chinky did not like cricket as much as Gattu and these days when there was an atmosphere of IPL all over India Gattu Chinky society was also enjoying IPL Mom I'm going to play cricket Hey Gattu take Chinky with you too Mom she doesn't even know how to play cricket what will she do Then teach her otherwise make her the empire No 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 let it be I don't want to play Gattu was seeing cricket everywhere. All the children in the class were crazy about cricket. Chinky was listening to the same wicket, run, catch, run out conversations. What a sick Dhoni hit! Did you know? Yes, brother. He is the best player. But the maximum runs are made by Virat Kohli only. I also watch cricket with my father sometimes. Even I like Virat Kohli so much. Hearing this, Chinky irritably complains to the teacher, which made a different effect. Sir, see, Gattu, Nilesh, Bhushan, everyone is making a ruckus. What is happening? Stand up, Gattu. Solve this math problem. The teacher wrote four into nine is equal to on the blackboard, and asked Gattu to solve it. Gattu, tell me quickly. Sir, may I answer that? Gattu cannot answer that. Ask him something about cricket. He will know that only. Gattu immediately counted the numbers and told the answer. Sir, it's thirty-six runs. And along with the whole class, sir also started laughing. In the evening, when all the children were in the grounds of the society, then they were only talking about cricket and IPL. Conversations about cricket going on, and Gattu won't be there. It cannot happen. But along with Gattu, his mother also sent Chinky to play. Gattu, how long do you take to come? Because of late evening, our game always remains incomplete. Nilesh is right, Gattu. And anyways, the IPL match is going to start after a while. We should leave early. Chinky got angry on hearing the name of IPL once again, and she cried. Why you all always talk about IPL? There are other topics also for conversation. Hey Chinky, IPL's new season has started. That's why everyone talks about it. I seriously don't like your enthusiasm for IPL. Absolutely waste of time. Everyone felt bad. No one even pays attention to Chinky. But Chinky goes on speaking. Look Chinky, if you don't like IPL, then why should we stop talking about that? But there are more sports, and do you know our national sport is hockey, not cricket. But we all like cricket. Chinky angrily leaves from there. The next day, all the children came to play in the garden, and in the middle of the game, Gattu comes up with a great idea. Hey, listen, everyone! I have an idea. We all will enjoy a lot. What is your idea, Gattu? Yes, yes, Gattu. Tell me quickly, what kind of idea? I have got a great plan in my mind. Oh, then tell me soon. Gattu makes a plan to watch the match of IPL together. Our favorite team's match is in the evening on Sunday. If we all gather together and watch the match, then it will be a lot of fun. Again, the same IPL. I don't want to watch. And Chinky leaves from there. Hey, Chinky, wait. Yes, Chinky. Listen first. I am not going to stop. After Chinky leaves, all the children keep discussing. Tell us more about your planning, Gattu. How will it work? Yes, yes. We will all gather at my house on Sunday evening and will watch the IPL match together. But Gattu, will your mother agree? Hey, she loves watching cricket herself. But you take her permission once. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. When Gattu reaches home, he sees Chinky is angry. He convinces her first. Chinky, my dear sister, what do you want? Hey, we should all watch IPL matches together, don't we? That seems like a waste of time to me. Chinky, we should support our Indian team and we should cheer our Indian players, right? Yes, we should. So if we watch the match together, then we will be supporting them and we will enjoy also. As soon as Chinky agrees, then she asks him to ask their mother. Okay, we will enjoy together. 
but you ask mom once mom was working in the kitchen and then gattu reaches there running mom mom what is it gattu tell me mom day after tomorrow we all want to watch ipl match at home together hey so what to ask in this you must watch gattu gets happy yay thank you mom dad listens to gattu and mom's talks and thinks well that's it hmm gattu explains the plan to everyone on the ground next day listen friends mom has agreed tomorrow evening we will all watch our favorite teams match together so better we should all start preparing yes yes i will bring popcorn from home for everyone and i will bring cold drinks from my dad shop so friends we will meet tomorrow at our house the next day everyone gathers at gattu and chinki's house but as soon as gattu turns on the tv they got to know that the connection was missing what is this gattu the connection is cut off i also had the same problem at my house the connection of everyone's house in the society was lost now how will we watch the match the match will start in an hour then suddenly gattu's father comes there Dad, there is no connection in the TV. We have to watch the match. So why do we have to watch the match on TV? We can go straight to the stadium. Dad takes out the match tickets from his pocket he has brought for everyone. Everyone becomes happy. Wow, Dad! Thank you so much. Yay! Let's go. Hurry up. Hope the match hasn't started yet. As soon as everyone reaches the stadium, the society's TV connection gets reconnected here. And mom sees Gattu, Chinki, and all the other kids on TV. The children enjoyed that thrilling IPL match, and then they go on to discuss it for weeks. Chinki's magical fingers. Chinki and Gattu were resting after a busy day at school. Chinki started drawing in her sketchbook, and Gattu put on his favorite song on the TV and started watching TV while lying on the sofa. While watching TV, Gattu noticed what Chinki was doing. She was looking at her drawing book with full concentration and was spinning a pencil in her fingers. Hey Chinki, where did you learn to spin the pencil in such a way? I don't know. I have a habit of spinning a pencil or a pen while doing nothing. I did not learn from anywhere. It just happened. Wow, natural talent. Mummy entered their room. She had a mobile phone in her hand. which she handed over to gattu and said gattu dear your friend raju is on the call gattu started talking with raju on the phone cricket match it will be fun i will meet you in the park in 10 minutes gattu pulled out a t-shirt with virat kohli's print from the cupboard and got ready to play cricket and chinki said i will also come and play cricket i also want to play cricket today Oh great so wear a sport shoes and get ready Gattu and Chinki went to the park to play cricket where Gattu's friends Bunty Raju and many other boys were ready with the bat and ball Gattu and Bunty were chosen as captains and they started choosing their teammates one by one I choose Raju I pick Hari Rohan Gaurav Gattu noticed that Chinki was looking at him very eagerly Chinki, Chinki is also playing, but she is a girl. So what? I also want to play cricket. Ha 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 ha! But how will you be able to compete with us in cricket? Go home and play Ludo with your mother. Hearing this, Chinki's eyes filled with tears, and Gattu was furious over this argument. Don't talk rubbish, Bunty. Anyone can play cricket, be it a boy or a girl. Chinki will definitely play, and she will play for my team. Ha ha ha! It looks like you don't want to win today. You will never win with a girl player on your team. We'll see that. I challenge you. Gattu accepted Bunty's challenge, and then they tossed the coin. Bunty won the toss, and he chose to field first. Match was of 6 overs and Gattu's team decided to send Gattu and Raju for the opening. Bunty was bowling in the first over. He took a long run up and threw a fast ball, but Gattu took a nice cover drive and it was a four. 
Wow, Gattu, this shot was just like Virat Kohli's shot. All the teammates of their team started applauding, and seeing this, Bunty got more frustrated. Gattu did a hat trick of fours and took their score high up to 14 runs. But in the next over, Gattu's opening partner Raju got out by LBW. Still, Gattu continued his attacking form, and on the last ball of the over, he hit a six. Gattu's batting partners were out one by one, but Gattu kept building his team's score, and in five overs, it was 36 runs. Bunty decided to bowl the last over of the innings. Bunty was very upset that Gattu managed to score such good runs in the first over. So he threw a fast bouncer ball towards Gattu. The third ball of the over hit Gattu in the chest, and he was hurt. All the players of Gattu's team were now worried for him. It was clear that Gattu can't bat anymore, so he was out of the game, and Bablu took his place. Bunty kept throwing fast balls for the batsman, and in the next ball, Bablu was out too. Now Chinki had to step in to play the last two balls of the over. When Bunty saw that Chinki is going to bat, he gave a wicked smile. He said to his teammates, "Oh, now this girl is going to face my fast bowling. As I said earlier, this game is not for girls. Now just wait and watch. I will make her pay." Bunty deliberately threw a fast bouncer ball with the intention to hurt Chinki. Chinki managed to save herself somehow. The ball passed very close to her head. and went straight into the hands of the wicket keeper now it was the last ball of the innings bunty took a very long run up and threw a fast yorker ball to chinki's legs chinki while trying to save herself put the bat in front of her the ball touched the edge of the bat and passing the wicket keeper it went out for the boundary four runs gattu and his teammates started clapping which made bunty even more frustrated Gattu's team had managed to score 43 runs in 6 overs and now Bunty's team had a target of 44 runs. Gattu was still having pain in his chest but he gathered his courage and as a responsible captain he started setting his team for the fielding. Raju will be the wicket keeper. Bablu, you give the cover. Monty and Rohan, you will be on the boundary. What about me? You stand in a slip. Bunty's team sent the openers and they started very well. They managed to hit two sixes in the very first over by Vicky, and by the end of the second over, they scored 24 runs without losing a wicket. Gattu did not want to bowl as he was still in pain, but as his team was struggling, he decided to throw third over. When Chinki saw that he was taking run up, she cheered for him. Come on, Gattu! Come on! Gattu's ball was not in speed, but its in swing was very nice, and the batsman was bold. For the last ball of the over, Gattu threw an out swing ball, which touched the edge of the bat, and wicket keeper caught it. Now the captain of the opposing team, Bunty, came to bat. He was still angry with Gattu and Chinki over the argument that Chinki should not play cricket with them. So when he started batting, he struck two boundaries in his next over. Now the score of the team was 34 runs in 4 overs. Bunty looked at Chinki standing in the slip and said, "It will be really fun to win this match and insult you and Gattu. Now I just have to score 7 runs in 12 balls." All the bowlers of Gattu's team were out of form until then only Gattu had thrown a good over hence in the 5th over Gattu came for bowling Bunty was on the non strike end and Gattu was very clever in setting the fielding in such a way that another batsman was not able to take a single run Bunty was very frustrated due to dot ball over dot ball and he started to shout at his batsman On the last ball of the over the second batsman was so stressed that he struck the ball and sent it towards the slip. Chinki dove for the ball and caught it. All of her teammates applauded and celebrated her amazing catch. Gattu had improved the situation with his maiden over, but the way Bunty was playing, it seemed that getting 7 runs in the last over was not a big deal. Now Gattu gave the ball to Chinki for the last over. Everyone was surprised and they had never seen her bowling. Even Chinki herself was not very sure about it. But Gattu said, "Trust yourself, Chinki. The best way to teach Bunty a lesson is that we have to win the match with your bowling. 
you have a sharp mind and i believe that you will win this match for us then gattu went near her and whispered don't you remember how you were spinning the pencil in your fingers while working on the drawing your magic fingers have a natural talent of spinning just focus on the batsman and spin the ball with your fingers chinki took the ball and marked the run up when bunty saw this he started laughing at her <laughs> i will hit 4 and 6 on the ball she will throw and complete my target i will make sure that gattu will never argue with me on any point from now on but he underestimated jinky jinky's first ball was leg spin and it went outside bunty moved his bat to strike the ball but it was in vain got ball bunty had noticed the leg spin and for the next ball he was ready on the back foot for a cut shot but on this ball chinky threw an off spin she managed to beat bunty once again now gattu and his team were shouting chinky's name to cheer her up and boost her confidence chinky 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 but due to this bunty got more frustrated now bunty needed 7 runs from the four balls so bunty came out of the crease to hit a long shot but this ball was googly and it spun and went straight to hit the middle stump Bunty was out. Gattu and all of his teammates ran towards Chinky and started celebrating on the pitch. Bunty returned to his team with a heavy heart. He could not believe that Chinky will throw such a nice googly. When Bunty was out, his team lost their confidence, and now seven runs on three balls target seems too hard to chase. Everyone was confused due to Chinky's spinning ball. It's like something magical was happening while the ball was in Chinky's fingers. She managed to LBW the next batsman and on the 5th ball the batsman was caught out. It was a hat trick. All the players of Bunty's team were out and Gattu's team won the match. Didn't I tell you that you have magical fingers? The bowling was awesome. Yes, Chinky, from now on you are the main bowler of our team. Bunty's pride was shattered due to losing the match and watching Chinky's bowling. He went to Gattu and Chinky and said, "Chinky, I was wrong. I will never consider any girl less than boys. Please forgive me." Gattu and Chinky forgave him. Everybody started praising Chinky for her mind-blowing performance and they shouted, "Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray!" If you are liking our videos then like them comment them and subscribe